Welcome back heroes to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode we defeated Pegasus and became King of Games. We completed the Duelist Kingdom Saga and now we're going to start Battle City which is going to be great. Starting off with Yu-Gi vs Bandit Keith and we're going to make our way most likely down to uh, the Slifer Duel which uh, I'm very much looking forward to. So despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, Yugi noticed that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was worried about their uncertain future. The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi, and I sense that fate is more in store for us. And we're in this together no matter what. Good. I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I'll help you figure it out. Later that day, Yugi and Teya came across a fortune teller that offered to tell Yugi his future. Yugi welcomed the opportunity. What are you doing, Yugi? Teya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the puzzle. The fortune teller asked for a personal item which he could use to tell the truth. He in indicated the Millennium Puzzle would be perfect, so Yugi reluctantly handed it over. Yugi realised it was a ruse, and the fortune teller fled with the Millennium Puzzle, leaving a trail of arrows for Yugi to follow. It was a trap, but Yugi had no choice. When Yugi tracked down the thief, he discovered that the fortune teller was none other than Bandit Keith. But there was something different about him. Something or someone was speaking through him. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's become mind con my mind-controlled slave. Who are you? What do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power your item contains within, but according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. As for who I am, let's just say that I'm one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the powers of a Millennium Item. I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your Millennium Puzzle. There are ancient secrets buried within it, of which you and even the spirit that inhabits it are unaware. That's why I will add it to my collection. The Millennium Puzzle was out of his reach, so Yugi reached out with his, with his mind to try to connect to the spirit inside the puzzle. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Our bond is weak. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You have to fight him alone. Alone? But I've never fought a duel without you. You can defeat him. Just trust yourself, and your deck, and you'll find the way. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yugi, I have seen your future and foretold your fate, and this duel will be your last. It's time to duel. Like how you get a little smile on his face then. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't remember what deck he uses. I'm not sure it'll still be like a Barrel Dragon deck. Probably something a little bit different for Battle City, but I mean, we'll find out. And our deck still. Uh, not the greatest here, but it should be fine. Right. We are gonna go and set this. Set this. And then end. And next turn we'll get out Gaia and just uh, go from there. Alright, what are you gonna do, Bandit Keith? Yabba Robo? Okay. Oh, Tribute to the Doomed! Dude, I've not seen that card in so long. Uh, okay. Plus 300 attack and defense, that's fine, never mind. You can attack me. I'll take that. It's all good. Alright, next, my turn. I slightly remember this card. When your opponent activates the spell card that targets exactly one monster on the field, target another card that. Oh, dude, that would have been perfect last turn. Alright, so let's activate this. Get our, uh, our Gaia out. We'll activate Horn of the Unicorn, set the trap down. No, I don't want to activate Spellbind in Circle. Not yet. Onto that. 3,000 attack now. We looking good, dude. We looking good. Now we can attack for a nice 1,700 damage. Nice. Alright, your move, dude. I think we've got this in the bag easy. Like, I don't think there's anything you can really do. Apart from lay a trap that just, yeah. Not stop us, so we're pretty good now. Hey, Mr. Kalelf, you know what? Feeling kind of naughty. A bit reckless. Gonna summon you in attack mode. And I'm just gonna go attack for uh, 3,800. Nice. 3,000 and you have 1,000, also 2,500 left. All good. Dude, this is this is so good, man. I thought at the start our hand was trash, but no. 
Oh, okay, um... I don't remember... Oh, that dude! I remember him now. Okay. Oh, wait, what? You tributed him for... That. Okay. Right. I don't know what that is, but... It's bound to have quite high defense. So let's uh, attack Gaia. And we'll just do 2k damage and then we'll win next turn. Oh! Okay. Uh, for some reason I was expecting something completely different. Something like on the scale of like um, Millennium Shield. But no, okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's just end our turn and then win next turn because he's got one card. Gets Dark Hole. <laughs> Changes the game. Hey, there you go. For a second I got a bit worried. Dark Hole comes in, we, we cry. Alright, let's win this. I think the next duel, it could be quite tough. We might lose a couple of times. Because I'm pretty sure the next duel is the Exodia dude. As Yugi battled Bandit Keith, Evil Bakura found his way to the duel, following the Millennium Puzzle's energy with his Millennium Ring. Fascinating. It appears the shadow magic energies I detect are within Yugi's opponent. Bandit Keith is just a puppet under the control of an evil master. Well, this puppet, is, this puppet show is over, for I alone shall possess the Millennium Puzzle. My ring? Sever the strings that bind this man. Free his mind from the Shadow Realm. Bakura unseen, Bandit Keef was freed from the mind control, making Bandit Keef's controller wonder what happened. What happened? My Millennium spell over Keef has been broken, but how? Only the power of another Millennium item can sever a connection so strong. Uh, where am I? Hey. Oh. Alright. Next duel. Yugi was disturbed that there was an unknown foe attempting to take his Millennium Puzzle. He felt unprepared. Didn't know enough about the puzzle to understand what dangers he now would have to face. Hey, how's it going, Yugi? Not so great. I need your help. And so does the spirit of Millennium Puzzle. Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to know a lot about its past. That reminded the spirit how little he knows about it. But hanging out with you might help him figure things out. Sure, but how exactly am I going to do that? You always have great advice. Just talk to him. The spirit and Teya spent the day together. I'm just thinking of uh, Yukio Bridge when like they got that date. They went to a Domino Museum, which had just opened their Egyptian exhibit. They saw an ancient stone, a carving that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to Yugi, while the sorcerer looked just like Kaiba. As they stood in awe of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. My pharaoh, I've been expecting you. Uh, who are you? I'm Mishizu of the Egyptian Historical Society. I've uncovered many mysteries about you and these ancient carvings using the magic of my Millennium Necklace. Another Millennium item? Like your Millennium Puzzle, this necklace affords me certain powers. With it, I have gazed 5,000 years into the past to a time when evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world. However, there was one king who possessed the magic powerful enough to stop this evil threat. The pharaoh who saved the world was you. Now the time has come for you to rescue mankind once again. To rescue mankind from what? How do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My Millennium Necklace also shows me your visions of the future. My pharaoh, the events of the past will occur once again and that the same great evil will return to threaten us. How will I recognize this evil? I know that your memory has faded and that you seek many answers. We also know a Duel Monsters tournament is beginning. If you win it, you will find your answers. The tournament that Ashizu was referring to was Seto Kaiba's Battle City Tournament. Joey and Yugi both received invitation to, to participate. All entrants were given a special transparent card known as a locator card. The winner of each duel was allowed to take a uh, both a locator card and a rare card from the loser. If the duelist lost all his locator cards, he was eliminated from the tournament. Only those who collected six locator cards would find the location of the tournament finals. The tournament attracted a group of duelists known as the Rare Hunters. These evil duelists were thieves intent on stealing the most rare duel monster cards. Joey lost his red-eyes black dragon to a rare hunter named Seeker. Hoping to win back his card, Joey challenged him to a rematch. You got my red eyes and I want it back, so it's time to duel. I have no desire to duel you. I already relieved you of your rare red eyes. My hunt for your deck is over. Well, that's too bad. I'm not leaving until I win my red eyes back. Joey, what's going on? Yuki Moto! He has the item my master desires. This guy owes me a rematch so I can win, my, win back my red eyes. I already told you that you have nothing that, that of any use to me, but perhaps your friend would be interested in being my next victim. It would be my pleasure to hunt the Duelist Kingdom champion and snare his Dark Magician, so I challenge Yugi Moto to a duel. Fine, Rare Hunter, I accept your challenge. It's the only way to win back your card, Joey. 
If you win this duel, I'll hand over my Dark Magician to you. But if you lose, you must return Jory's Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh, dude, we're going to lose this duel 100%. <laughs> oh, man, it is the Exodia, dude, 100%. And then Yugi, I think in the anime he cheats, doesn't he? Like, I think he just, he draws that activates Light Force Sword, I think it's called, or Light something, the trap card that just pins a um, opponent's card in their hand, like a random one, and Yugi just, like, I think he selects the, the card and plays it like a spell, and oh my goodness, okay. Uh, let's... When a monster with 2,000 attack, let's summon type one of them, destroy all cards with that name in the controller's hand or deck. Okay. Gotta set that. Gotta set this. And gotta set this. Alright, let's end. Watch him, like, FTK me. <laughs> right. Pot agreed. Sure. Can't stop that. Graceful charity. Great. Why would you ditch another graceful charity? Oh, dude. Right. Okay. Go get rid of that. So if we do this, I will let him in the controller's hand and main deck. Yeah, so now we win. He can't win now. Don't know why you summon it, but... There you go. We win. Although, I think... Don't we have to destroy that first? I don't know if... Like, I think Exodia's got to be in the hand, right? Or can it be on the hand infield? Dude, free pot of greeds. <laughs> can you imagine if that was legal nowadays? Oh, dude, that would be... That would be great. With Speed Duel, and I kind of hope like Pot of Greed comes out and they just make it legal just to one, <laughs> just for fun, or like have no like Speed Duel's got no ban limit or ban list at the moment. Just let me have three Pot of Greeds in my deck. Why not? Just for a little bit, even if it's like for like a day. I would love that. I really would. Oh no, a direct attack. What else shall I do? Oh, 200 life points. Not good. Cool. Right. We are going to draw, and we are going to get Summon Skull. Okay, so what we'll have to do is Monster Reborn, the left leg. Is it the right leg or left leg? Right leg. Uh, yeah, just get this. Doesn't matter what we get, to be honest. Leg versus leg is a kick and match, man. <laughs> Alright, now we can summon this. Just hoping your face down isn't so too scary. I should probably get rid of that first with Dust Tornado. Might actually do that now. Just a bit scared of what it is. Reckless Grit, okay. Might as well. Don't really do anything, but. Well, you're not going to draw anyway because we're at Screed, but... Let's see what my fusions are. Okay. Right. Battle phase. We're going to win now. Like, he can't win. This deck's trash without, you know... I don't know why he summoned that piece. If he didn't summon the piece, we win. Oh, no! Dark Hole! I should have known he had that because I wasn't paying attention to... uh. His plot duality. Ooh. Okay, that's all good. Stupid dark hole. This is where I lose and I, I can't draw anything good. Silver Fang, hey, we can win by 200. Please don't have something that can just beat me. Wait, uh. In addition to this card in your hand, it's got me in the hand. Luckily. He can't ever get unless he's got something like monster reincarnation. That adds to hand, doesn't it? Discard a card, add a monster from graveyard to hand, and what are you gonna do now? Oh, Regeki, sweet, brilliant, and swords, great. So happy about this. Just gonna end. There's no point. I thought it was four stars, five star. Ooh. Just need Gazelle, King of Mythical Beasts. Alright, another swords. 
cool. Stone statue, okay. And the right arm. Of course you take that. Put an attack position or are you gonna oh yep, yeah, you're gonna go for that 300 damage, I mean. Yeah. If we attack that in defense and we take damage, it gets doubled. It's effects, we've got to be very careful. Oh nice, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. No, I can't. I don't want to play anymore. I changed my mind. Oh, that's too late. Can't attack. Oh, that's annoying. I was going to wait until I could attack and just attack it. Because they'll keep it in attack mode, most likely. Oh, that's so annoying. I remember, like, I, I never got this card, but I really wanted Chimera the Fly Mythical Beast. Just because, obviously, Yugi had it. And... If Yugi had it, like I guess I before, if an anime character had it, I needed it. But I, know, I could never ever get a Chimera, like, growing up. I might got one, like, when I started playing again. Just, like, not even realised it, because I didn't really care for it, but, um... Wait, when this card is destroyed, you can tie it one. Oh, okay, yeah. This is, oh, it's destroyed? Does this save a battle? Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. I never got this card as a kid, not the same. And now, next turn, we can finally attack. Whew. In front of the swords. Yep. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, light force sword. That's the one. Yeah. And turn. Just gotta activate light force sword just for funs. Just for funsies. Why not? Random card. Dude, it's not the most boring doll ever because we can't do anything. Uh, when this card is on the field, monsters cannot be set or flip face down. If a monster can't be set, it must be normal summon. Okay. Can't even attack. I see like more monsters. Start getting set up ready to, to take him out for like. Really? Oh, no, I should probably do this actually in case he wants to set something else. Okay, another one of them. It's good to know. Ooh, brain control. But it's gonna be face up. Okay. Uh. Gonna activate it now. Take this. Then tribute it for this. No! No, 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 no! Why did you. It, it, I thought it would just go straight there and it went, it went here. Why would I. Okay. Thanks, game. Appreciate that so much. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so annoying. Why did it target that first? And now we're pretty much stuck here until he decks out. Unless we can do like summon skull. He's gonna deck out. That, that's how we're gonna win. He's gonna deck out. Like, we can't really do much, so just summon this. That's so annoying. Should be at the process, just like start eliminating his cards now, but we can't. All right, next turn if we can get like a, just draw a poly, then we'll be fine. Get back in this, but till then, we'll wait until he decks out. Yeah, just keep drawing them cards. Get the upstart, please. Oh, we know. Joey's red eyes. Probably gonna get the stone statue, dude, and get. Oh, no, he got red eyes. He's gonna summon red eyes. Oh, snap. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I mean, like, at least I'm not gonna get destroyed by Exodia. That's, that's the main thing here. I didn't misclick, I would be uh, 
he would have really got red eyes out. Guess we just do that. And I'm gonna just switch this to defense as well. It's fine, it's gotta live like nine turns. Summon Skull. Give me a Summon Skull. You know what? We can just like thin the deck out a little bit. Uh... Okay. Guess he's got no more. Sweet. Oh. Didn't attack. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, dude, give me a better card, seriously. Come on, come on. Battle phase, yep. It's all good. At this rate, we're not going to be. We need, like, Mirror Force or just a good trap. Oh, Beta, the Magnet Warrior, dude. If these ever come to speed, Dolan, I'm going to be. I'm playing this deck 100%. I love like Beta, Alpha, and Gamma. It's just so good. Right, uh, I guess we just set ya. Yeah. There's nothing we can really do. What's in our fusion? Oh, it's just the um, Chimera dude, wasn't it? Oh boy, this is bad. Okay, nothing else? Cool. He could easily win if he just like put him to attack and just went in. Six more turns, okay. Someone's skull, we're back in this, we win. It's all we needed. Just that one card. There we go, took our time, but let's get rid of Red Eyes and now we back in this because he can't beat me now, again. Unless he gets a cool trap, but we'll see. Come on, play the upstart, do something. In your deck more, or just keep building up your defenses. Oh, Gamma. Yes. Loving it. Alright. Going to take out you. Get rid of you, and now if we draw one more monster, we can start doing some damage. If not, take out his uh, defenses. Well, at least, I know he's got like the head, so we can bridge some another thing. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Not gonna lie, that's a little bit scary. Uh, I'm just. I'm just getting my turn. Like, I want to attack, but I'm scared he's gonna have something. That face down will just destroy me, so I'm just gonna let it be a little bit. Swords, okay, now I can't attack. Just gotta end in. Yeah. Gonna deck him out. That's, <laughs> that's how we do it. You wanna try like OTK, FTK me with like. with uh, Exodia? Boy. I just stole you out. Oh, geez, he's almost got all the pieces on the field. <laughs> oh man. Can you imagine having all on the field and you can't do a single thing? Feel bad. Feels bad, man. Oh, and guess what? In two turns, it's over. So I might as well just end my turn right away. Let you have your final turn and it's. Just, uh, let's face up though. You know what? Just gonna end turn. I'll let you deck out. Oh, might as well say, why not? Keep prompting me. Get rid of it now. Oh look, you drew your last card. Sucks to be you, dude. Yeah, and we just end and then we win. Yeah boy, a long bore it started off really interesting. Him doing all that stuff, but just Yeah. 
Like, there you go. I win! Ooh. Yeah, you, you won! I'm taking Joey's rise and your locator card. I lost. I failed. Forgive me, master. I tried my best. No, please don't be angry. Yugi, that wacko's lost his mind. Remember me, Pharaoh? Actually, perhaps you don't. You're trapped in the puzzle I do little Yugi. Congratulations on defeating my rare hunter. Though he was the weakest duelist of my crew, my other minions will prove much more formidable. Yug, what's with this freak show? Pharaoh, I've waited for you, waited for you for years. Finally, I feel this time. I'll destroy you. I'll not allow my other rare hunters to fail like this one. I have little time for this kind of foolishness, so I've taken over his body and trapped his mind in the Shadow Realm. I am in control. How do you control him? Each of the Millennium items contains its own unique power. So mind control is a simple task with my Millennium Rod. Let me introduce myself. Remember my name, Marek. Marek, what is it you want from me, Marek? I want what belongs to me. I'll take it up using the strength of the Egyptian God cards. Egyptian what? Millennia ago, a trio of powerful behemoths rampaged through ancient Egypt. These Egyptian god monsters spread destruction throughout the world until the pharaoh sealed them away for eternity. But when Pegasus created dual monsters, he resurrected these mighty beasts as cards. With these Egyptian gods, I can destroy you and claim the power I deserve. You'll never claim the Millennium Puzzle. You misunderstand. I want more than the, po the power of the puzzle. I want the pharaoh's power, the boundless energy of the ancient ruler himself. With it, no one will stand in my way. I'll use the almighty magic I gained to conquer and lead the world. I'll be unstoppable. The end is near, Pharaoh. It's my world now. Not yet, Marek. I'm beginning to understand why Shizu asked me to participate in Battle City. It's my destiny to stand between you and the evil powers you seek, and I will. Pharaoh, your days are numbered. Enjoy the game while you still can, because your reign is coming to an end. Man, that was weird. I knew that guy was a big creep, but who knew that that was just a front for another creep? Here, Joey, take your red eyes back. You hold on to it. It isn't mine to take, pal. You want it fair and square. Besides, the rare hunters collected tons of rare cards. Their decks are all uh, souped up, so I know they're going to be tough to beat, even for you. You always have my back, so it's time I helped you for a change. That's why I want you to keep my red eyes. Oh, great, thanks. I know it's going to come in handy for you sometime. Besides, this means that a part of me will be a part of your deck. It's kind of cool knowing that I'm helping you save the world. Don't get me wrong, I'm still in the conquest, uh, contest because I still have the rare card re required covered. Red Eyes wasn't the only rare card in my deck. You gave me another rare card way back when I first started playing Duel Monsters, remember? The Time Wizard. Yep, it bit me out of jam the Duelist Kingdom. And I was going to save my butt in Battle City. You know, when you think about it, both our hearts are in our decks. We're a team. Together, we won't let any Duelist beat us. We'll whoop this Merit Creep and his rare Hunter Goon Squad so hard they won't know what to hit him. They'd be sorry when that, that they ever decide to mess with us. Thanks, Joey. I'll take good care of Red Eyes. You're a true friend, Joey. And together, we can take on any evil that comes our way. Hey, <laughs> love that sound. But the master of magicians, ah, oh, dude. Remember when I was a kid, I flipped out when I saw the red dart magician. I thought it was so cool. I actually own a red dart magician, like um, one from the uh, OCG, like an original one with like the old. Um, you know when the boxes, the attack and defense box, were in the bottom right in that little box. I got, I got, still got one. It's a bit bad condition, but I mean, I keep it just because it's kind of cool. But yes, moments ago in Battle City, we identified the card's owner, Seto Kaiba. Of course. How did you know, sir? It's quite simple. My sister Ashizu conspires against me. She gave Kaiba that card to stop me. I should have known Ashizu is behind this whole tournament. She used her Millennium Necklace to foresee the events of Battle City. Ashizu knew if she gave Oblis the Tormentor to Kaiba, he'd throw a tournament out of greed to obtain the other Egyptian god cards. Sir, shall I order a team of rare hunters to pay Kaiba a little visit? No. Leave Kaiba to his games. First, I need to weaken the Pharaoh. Dispatch Arcana to take down Yugi Moto. Later in the Battle City tournament, a strange clown lured Yugi to a secret lair with dangerous contraptions. Oh yeah, wasn't the razor blades by like um, his ankles like just cripple Yugi or something? Welcome Yugi Moto. I am the illusionist known as Arcana, and soon your favorite card, Dark Magician, will be dueling for me. Only a true master of illusion deserves to hold a Dark Magician. You'll never understand his full potential. That is enough, Arcana. I know it must be hard to think about think of your favourite card in another duelist deck. Well, I challenge you to a duel. The, duel. the winner will take the loser's Dark Magician. I accept. You must know that when a duelist builds his deck, he chooses his favourites from many different types of cards. Not all the time, but but sometimes a card can choose a duelist. The two are connected, and the duelist can tap into the card's true power, because each is bound by the heart of the cards, and Dark Magician has chosen me. 
Enough. Let's shuffle our decks and let the show begin. All right, let's go, man. I'm ready for this? All right. Uh, let's get paper A, and we'll go second. Remember loving this door, man. Oh, big shield gardener. Okay. Let's go. Set this. And let's end. I want you to attack into it. Take the damage and I'll tribute it for Dark Magician Girl and then we'll go in. That's the plan. Okay. Oof. Take that 1200, dude. Oh, I forgot about that. My bad. Ooh, that's actually really bad. But it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I don't really want to waste Monster Reborn just yet when we can just go Sword of Reveal and Light. Okay. Kind of annoying. Uh, let's set you. You might tribute both of them for Dark Magician, but I'm going to just play it safe this turn and see what happens. Don't tribute. Okay, just deal 800. Sweet. Can't get over this 1-8 defense, boy. Nice. Alright. I got Karibo. Let's now tribute that for this. <laughs> oh, dude, her face did not look okay. Right, let's... Don't attack you, you should get another special summon. Let's get this. Right, and then we end. And this is what we confuse. I'm guessing it'll probably be like, um... The Chimera again. Oh, no, I don't think we actually be... Black Spell Dragon? Gonna find out in a second. Yeah, Blasco Dragon to come here. Okay, so let's uh, battle phase. Just get rid of that. Just do not want him drawing Dark Magician. Which I feel like he's going to do any second now. Or not. Sweet. Dark Magic Cutting A. Should we just activate this now? Let's go for it. Half our life points, why not? Got Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. See, I kinda who's the true Dark Magician specialist now. Because it ain't you. I'm gonna go Dark Magician on the face down just in case it's like, oh okay, it's fine. Get your special summon, probably another one, yep. Right, and then we're, oh no, I'm, I'm, I should pr probably put Magic Hats down but we'll be fine. He says before something bad happens we all die. Okay. Let's... I want to see what that is. I'm going to activate D-Spell. Sick. That's great. Alright, Dark Magician Girl attack. He'll get another one. Be summon attack mode, then we can finish it off with Dark Magician. Too, just in case you do something kind of scary. Man, this duel actually going quite well for us, ain't it? 
Oh, he says, and then that happens. Oh. Okay. Oh. Right. That's kind of annoying, but... How's this working? Once per turn, during each player's end phase, the turn player must tribute one face-up monster, and if they do, inflict damage to their opponent equal to half the original. Okay. Oh, because he took my Dark Magician. Right. Okay, so what we'll have to do... is Monster Reborn our Dark Magician back. He's back, doing the, the hand gesture. Even though our one's green. <laughs> right, now we have to... Try and win here. Good. And two five. One three, and then we can finish you off by tribute and dark magician. Hey, there you go. That can't be! There's no way you could have defeated me, Yugi! I'm the greatest magician the world has ever known! You relied on trickery to win this win instead of uh, trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. Our Kena is gone! So we meet again, little Yugi. I'm sure I need no introduction. Show your face to me, Merrick, you coward! I'll reveal myself to you when the time is right and no sooner. Once I obtain it, what's mine? You know exactly what I want. The unlimited power of the ancient pharaoh. The spirit that li lives within your puzzle. Tell me why you want the pharaoh's power. Because that power is rightfully mine. Once I have it, I'll be unstoppable. The world will belong to me. And no one will stand in the way of my destiny. Especially not you. Oh yeah? Just watch me, Merrick. Listen, little Yugi. My family is slave for centuries, protecting the tomb of the Pharaoh until his return. And for what? I should be the Pharaoh. Never. You won't get the power of the Pharaoh, and I'll make sure of it. Ha. <laughs> we'll just see about that. My destiny can't be stopped. Don't you see it's only a matter of time? The three Egyptian god cards, along with your Millennium Puzzle, will belong to me. Then I will strip the Pharaoh of his ancient powers and infuse them within myself. Marek, you'll never defeat me in a duel. You'll never get your gritty hands on my puzzle. I promise you by the sands of Egypt, the Pharaoh's power will be mine. Never of my mind slaves already in Battle City waiting to defeat you and take your puzzle. And he holds an Egyptian god card. And what is the name of this card? Beware the quiet one. We meet again, Yugi. Hey, I just love that sound so much. So close to the quiet one, man. Right, so let's get on to playing with a parasite. As the tournament continued, Joey was challenged by Weevil Underwood. But what Joey didn't know was that Weevil was using his underhanded tricks again. Weevil slipped a card into Joey's deck that would make sure that none of none of Joey's strategies would work. We'll settle this fair and square of a duel. All right, let's do this. That's fine with me, but we're duel for two located cards. As if you even have to. Yugi squashes creepy little bug the first time they squared off in Duelist Kingdom. I guess it's my turn to do the same. It's time to duel. Alright, I'm ready, man. This is gonna be sick. Uh, let's go for scissors. Hey. And we're gonna go first. Alright, let's destroy this little dweeb. Ooh, scapegoat. I've oh, got Jinzo. We have Jinzo already? Sick. Okay. Um, not much I can do. Guess I'll just activate scapegoat to help us live. And then, um. Oh, it's got, I gotta choose them. I was like, what are you doing? Right, got all our sheep tokens out. And then we are going to set Kunawa Chain. And, and we can't tribute our uh, scapegoat tokens for a Jinzo, unfortunately. But uh, we can just use them to, you know, buff our defense up a little bit. Oh, you suck. I'm going to give one of my tokens just like 500 attack. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> oh, man. Imagine we kept that. It would be great. Okay, that's fine. B. 
baby dragon. Right. Uh, summon you. You're not in the graveyard, do you? Oh, that's from the hand. Right. So I'm now going to end phase. We just need to keep baby dragon alive for one turn, get Jinzo out, then we win. Oh, dude. Oh, sweet. Yep. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Appreciate that. They're like Panther Warrior or something. Alright, this will do a take attack the face down. No reason not to. Nice. Just gotta live next turn, then we get Jinzo. And then he can't activate whatever traps he wants to activate. Don't know what he'd want to activate, but I mean hey. Jinzo's always good. Okay, insect time monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. We want the insects, yeah. I think once he gets Parasite Parasite in our deck, then That's what he wants to uh do, but that's fine. Uh, so this negates the effect, doesn't it? Yeah. So now we can still attack. See ya. And you're gonna uh, get a special summon out. Oh, I thought you'd get like another one out. Why not? Okie dokie. Uh, main phase two. Set grave robber just in case. We want to use it soon. Probably should try to get like MST. I don't know, I'll take 2000 life points if I use Grave Robber, won't I? As long as he can't get Insect Queen out. He, I don't think he can kill me. That's all good. Bombless Trap Hole. Oh, let's go. Some of that Insect Queen. Oh, no, wait, never mind. <laughs> it don't matter now. It don't matter now. Dude, get so happy when you actually get a really cool trap and then you can't even use it because your own, own effects. It's kind of annoying. Okay. What we got next? Oh, a battle warrior. This dude, man. Not seen in such a long time. It's so terrible. Alright, cool. Don't know what you're gonna be, but I might as well attack you just to see. Oh, okay. Right, uh, when your opponent, opponent's monster attacks this card in face and defense position, this card becomes an equip skull to the attack of monster. During each of your opponent's standby phases, increase your life points by half the attack of the monster equipped with this card. That's fine. You really want that 350 life points? Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> oh, dude. Great, and you know what that face down is going to be. I think we just put back to the top of the deck. That's all good. Come on, another monster. Magical arm shield, that's fine. Let's attack that. And then we'll do 700. Gonna be like in a continuous loop right now. Like, He's, he's just not got to set that card. Or he's going to keep drawing the same thing. We can just keep attacking him, attacking him for 700 and get more things out. I don't think it's like, what, 350 because he gets life points back every turn, but... Dude. Oh, Panther Warrior, nice. Right. So we'll tribute the scapegoat first, then we'll tribute the, um... Thing. Alright, let's go attack. Tribute you. <laughs> oh, we're just stuck in a continuous loop right now, aren't you? And he can't not set it because he'll lose next, so. Yeah, it sucks to be him. <laughs> Such a good position, man. I can actually win next turn. 
I was thinking that I'll have to wait one more turn because obviously we have to attack with Panther Warrior, but what we can do is if we activate Shield and Sword, new Pokemon games coming out soon. What are we going to play from the channels? Oh, never mind, that was stupid. I was thinking Shield and Sword only worked on one monster. I was thinking it's fine, we'll just go from there, but. You know, I thought like 2,400 and 2,000 we win, but came so close. It's got 250 life points left, dude. So happy that uh, Shield and Sword isn't permanent. But we win. Jinzo attacks. Tribute Jinzo for Panther Warrior, and then we win. I feel so bad for him like, the past few turns, just... I've been in that position where you've... Like, actually, I think it was against you, back in Duelist Kingdom with Yugi. I just kept having to draw um, the or was it Horn of the Unicorn. So annoying. There we go. Welcome to Loserville, Weevil. Population, you. <laughs> I lost. Ah, but wait, wait. Alright, Weevil, cough him up. You're in set Quinn and two locator cards. Have mercy! Mercy? Should have thought of that before you decided to cheat. You're not just like at Doors Kingdom, you're at the tournament. Hey. Alright, well, I think we're in this part here. Next episode, we're gonna be summoning Slifer the Sky Dragon, which is gonna be great. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.